Dang it, everybody, I slept in, and today's the day that the 1989 Batwing comes out. So let's head on out to the Lego store ASAP. Woohoo! Actually, to tell you the truth, I didn't sleep in that much. It's about 10 minutes after 8 o'clock a.m., and the Lego store doesn't open until 11. Well, 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 look what we have right there on the shelf next to the T-Rex Rampage. So there's me and one other AFOL there, and there's nobody else. So I feel confident enough that we can uh, go to Tim Hortons and get our morning coffee. So there she is. It's the 1989 Batwing. Limited one per customer. It's $259.99 here in Canada. 2,363 pieces. Just below it is another set that I might be picking up here. This is the... Uh, Holiday Reef, $44.99, 510 pieces. Actually, I think you can change it. Yeah, you can rebuild it into like a table centerpiece as well. And obviously it comes with lots of those tree and bush elements. So even if you parted it out, I feel like you get good value out of it for the $44.99. Batwing. Uh, Batwing. Thank you, members. You're the greatest. So when we're at the Lego store today, you're gonna get two free gifts. One is the build your own vehicle set for purchases over $40. The other is the free exclusive Mindstorm mini robot set for over $100. However, when I checked out, they're sold out of that. How could you be sold out of a promo that's advertised in the front window? So we're all finished up today at the Lego store. However, we're gonna be going to another Lego store. We're gonna be going to the West Edmonton Mall one. I heard there's something new there that's pretty exciting. Also, we're gonna check out my P.O. box, so make sure you stick around to check that out. On my way out, I decided to pick up some new speakers for my computer because the other ones have like a bass and way too many cables. Also, for some reason, they're picking up radio reception. So while I'm live streaming, you guys probably hear the radio very quietly in the back, and I'm hoping that new speakers will solve that problem. And it's the 2020 money-making solution. Oh my gosh. So we've arrived at West Edmonton Mall where they're constructing the new Lego store. Check out that entrance. Those are some good colors. <laughs> hey, and there's a shop back on the roof. Also on the roof, there's a couple new attractions. Well, one new one, I guess. I know exactly what that is. And take your best guess at it in the comment section below. Oh, the entrance is so yellow. I love the bricks just like that. It looks fantastic. And same with the entrance here on the other side. Also, you can see they've started installing some of the glass panels that are part of the storefront. Also, a lot of the cash counters have been installed as well. Looking up from that there, I'm on the upper floor, so you can see the big yellow cube along with the large Lego sign and two more big structures. I have no idea what those are. Have you guessed what the other one is yet? I'm going to show you right now. In the past, I stated that I thought the openings on the side were gonna be entrances, but it doesn't seem like it. It seems like it's just some windows that you can use to look into the store, and maybe they'll put some sort of Lego structures there because they're definitely adding a lot of Lego features to this store. Looking at this one here, you can see like the bottom of it. It's like a sled or something like that. It almost looks like a ski. Not sure, I'm really excited to find out what those are though. Oh, and remember they installed that big LED panel in the wall last time we were here? We now know it's a large Lego logo. That is super cool. It's like glowing from behind. I actually really like the concept that they've gone with a lot of glass on the side of the store, along with like the brick and more glass. So you're going to be able to see into the store, which is really nice. And then over there, there's the other lit up Lego sign, so pretty cool. And there's definitely no lack of floor space, pick a brick, and display space. This store is huge. And I cannot wait for it to open. I can't believe that they've added even more structures. We've got the plane, the helicopter, and then the two mysteries behind me. Let's head on out to the P.O. box and see if there's any fan mail to pick up. But first, I need to get a haircut before and after. Well, we just finished up with the P.O. box, and you guys are crazy. Thank you so much for all the mail. I appreciate it. Can't wait to open it up and find out what's inside. So we got a bat wing, new computer speakers, a new haircut, 
and all of the fan mail. Let's not stop there. We've got a new Lego room and I've got an idea. Wait a minute, why are we back here? This is the Lego store. This is where we were at eight this morning. No, we're not going back to the Lego store. That would be madness. I find myself at London Drugs. Hey, this is what we should be looking at, mini fridges. Although, these aren't that mini, they're pretty big. These are pretty mini though, but they're $130. I feel like I could find a better deal elsewhere. Maybe like Walmart or something, but that's not why we're here. I actually find myself in the storage bin area here, looking at Sterilite products to better organize our Lego. And I now realize that I've made a mistake. I came here thinking that these five drawer units for $17.49 we're this size. I now realize that they're tiny and I don't really need any more small ones. I was hoping to get some larger ones uh, that could stack on top of one another. Something like this, but with smaller shelves. This retails for $43.99, but looking on the walmart.ca website, so Walmart here in Canada, I have found some better priced options. So this was a waste of a drive. Well, after my lack of success, I ended up at uh, Safeway to pick up some groceries, as per Jose's request. Got myself a couple donuts. I'll probably eat both of them. Oh, oops. Why not, right? I also got myself a latte. Feels good to do it, right? Let's get on with the day here. So we've arrived home safely and consumed a couple donuts. <laughs> uh, this is what we ended up with today. So we got all the fan mail. That is incredible. Thank you guys so much for, for sending fan mail. It's, it's amazing. I can't wait to unbox that with you. Also, we're gonna set up our new computer speakers here. And of course, build the Batwing. When we bought the Batwing, we got this free poly bag, but they were out of the Mindstorms promo, which is really disappointing. I'm gonna have to call the Lego group, but I don't know if I wanna wait on hold for half an hour. It is what it is. We did attempt to get some more sorting bins. This is my desk setup for now. I have another video coming out on setting up my desk and stuff coming out in the near future. As you can see, it's nowhere near done. But what we were looking to get is some of these smaller drawers for the top. But I actually looked at the Walmart website and I saw that they have this exact unit uh, in white with the three large drawers and the two small drawers for 30 Canadian dollars. So I think I'm gonna buy two more of them. I'm gonna put this black one here under there since my legs don't go there. And then I have some parts right by my workstation. And we're gonna take the two that I buy and stack them here so that they go one, two. Two might actually be a little bit too high now that I look at it. Have to do some measurements and see if I'm able to reach. But I have more updates coming out uh, in the near future in regards to this. You can see the IKEA cabinet there that I'm about to build, set up my work desk and uh, do a few other things. I'll talk about that in another video. So me and my new fresh haircut, I've got to get back to work here as we're going to be building the new Lego room. So make sure you stay tuned, subscribe, hit that little notification bell and leave a like. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.